Last time I talked a little bit about events. And I said that God is in events. So what do we make of the Donald Trump's election to become the President of the United States? Well, some people are very, very enthusiastic. Some are horrified and some are just plain mystified. I have to say that when I was in the States a couple of years ago, I encountered some things that caused me some concern. And what concerned me then was the attitude of a lot of the Christians towards the President then, Mr. Obama. <clears throat> now, I'm not entering into the politics of various things, but I would say that the Scripture says some interesting things about authority. For instance, in Romans chapter 13, it says, Every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those which exist are established by God. Now, <clears throat> the reason I bring this up is because we should have respect for those that are in authority. You know, some people writing about Paul would say, Paul couldn't possibly have written this, either that or he was a compromiser. But actually he was neither. He was just saying the situation as it is, that God is overall, and God <clears throat> places people in authority. So the attitude of people towards President Obama it was one that bothered me at the time. I didn't always get coherent replies about why they hated him so much, but sometimes this came from the Christians. Now, what do we make of Mr. Trump? Well, to be honest, it's a wait-and-see game because he's already changing a number of things that he's said, so maybe the situation will be a bit different. So I think it's too early to say anything. But I would say this last thing, that it was said before about the Evangelical Church in America, that they hitched their wagon to particular people and by doing so they gained power but lost authority. And I think we have to do the, be careful to not do the same thing. We're not out for power, we're out for the authority of God to work through us to see Jesus glorified in our nation.